Hi everyone, in today's video, I will be showing you how to crochet the popsicle applique that I made for my summer blanket. For the popsicle, you're gonna want some worsted weighted yarn. I'm just using some scrap yarn, some messy scrap yarn and organized scrap yarn. Um, I have yellow, pink, blue for the popsicle and then this tan color for the popsicle stick at the end. And then you'll also want a tapestry needle, scissors, and for the hook, I'm using a G or a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. So starting with a slip knot, I am starting with my pink yarn and this will start the bottom of the popsicle. So my color scheme is going to be pink, yellow, blue, starting from the bottom. So you can do whatever color pattern you want. So after I slip knot, I'm going to chain 11. And then starting in the second chain from the hook here, we are going to make a half double crochet. And then make a half double crochet in each chain across. Once you get to the end, you will have a total of 10 stitches. So go ahead and half double crochet all the way across your chain. Once you get to the end here, that is row one. Turn your work, chain one, and we're gonna do the same exact thing in row two. We are just going to half double crochet across starting in our first stitch here. That chain one will not count as a stitch. So we're gonna do this for row two and we are gonna do that for row three as well. So go ahead and make two more rows of half double crochets for a total of three rows in pink. So I finished three rows of the pink and now I'm going to change to my yellow color. So I just cut off my yarn. I left a few inches so I could add in my yellow yarn. I'm just gonna pull my new yarn through the loop and then pull the tail end tight. And then I'm just gonna tie the yellow and the pink tails together. Just one simple knot. Chain up one and work on row four. We're actually gonna do the same exact thing. Uh, we just had to change colors and I'm gonna crochet over these ends. So we're just gonna chain up one and then half double crochet all the way across. And we're gonna do that for a total of three rows for the yellow. So once you're done with the yellow, You'll have three rows of pink, three rows of yellow, and then we'll be ready to change to blue. Okay, so I'm ready for my blue yarn. I did the same thing here. I just cut my yellow yarn to leave um, a little bit so I could tie it to my blue yarn. So now I'm gonna add my blue, pull the yellow tail tight, tie the tails together. And then I'm ready to start row seven. So chain one, turn my work. I am gonna crochet over these tails. So for row seven, we will be half double crocheting across starting in that first stitch. So just one half double crochet across with our blue yarn. And you should have 10 stitches in each row so far. There is one last stitch here. Okay, so we have three pink, three yellow, one blue row so far for this next row it is going to be a little different so let's turn our work chain up one and then over the first two stitches we are going to half double crochet them together so yarn over insert your hook into that first stitch yarn over pull up a loop you'll have three there yarn over again insert your hook into the second stitch Yarn over, pull through. You will have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of them. 
okay? And then in the next stitch, we're going to half double crochet, and we're basically going to half double crochet until we get to the last two stitches. So in between, there will be six half double crochets. So here's our last two stitches. The last one's sometimes hard to see. So we have the half double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we have two left. So we're gonna half double crochet two together again, yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all five loops. Okay, turn our work, chain one, and this is the last row of our popsicle. We are going to half double crochet two together all the way across. So the first two we're gonna half double crochet together. And the next two we're gonna half double crochet together, half double crochet two together. I should say, and then keep doing that across. So we're basically decreasing in this row. And then once you're done, go ahead and fasten off because that is it for the main popsicle part. And then I'm gonna grab my tan yarn and we will add a popsicle stick to the bottom. So this is what we have so far, our pop school, we're gonna turn it upside down and we are going to count four stitches in from the right here. So one, two, three, four, and we're gonna attach our tan yarn there. So I'm just gonna pull it through, chain up one, and then I'm just gonna, um, crochet over this tail here once I get going. So I chained one and then I'm going to half double crochet in the next four stitches. So I'm going to start uh, where I chained one. So I'm going to half double crochet right in there where I attached the yarn and chain one. So there's one, two, three, and four. We're gonna turn our work, chain one, and we want two more rows of just half double crochets. So I'm just gonna half double crochet across. We should have four stitches in these rows. So there's row two. Again, chain one, half double crochet across. That's row three, turn our work, chain one. And then in this last row, four, we are going to half double crochet two together two times. And then fasten off. And I can cut this tail end here. And that's it. Of course, you will want to weave in the ends with your tapestry needle, but that is how you crochet a little popsicle applique.